Apple is currently working on tvOS 17.2. I have the beta version of it installed on my Apple TV. And in this video, we're going to be taking a look at what's new in tvOS 17.2. Before we take a look at tvOS 17.2, I do want to take a quick look at tvOS 17.1 which is actually available for your Apple TV right now. And in this update, it's not much of an update for the Apple TV, the only noticeable change was the enhanced dialogue coming to all HomePods. Originally, this feature was only available for the HomePod second generation, but now with tvOS 17.1 and HomePod OS 17.1, we're getting the enhanced dialogue feature for all the HomePods. So if you have the first generation HomePod and the HomePod mini, you're now gonna get this feature in tvOS 17.1. Now what this feature does is pretty much what it says, it's gonna enhance the dialogue. So whenever you're watching a movie or a TV show and the dialogue is gonna be a little bit quieter because the background effect are too loud apple tv is going to handle that for you and bring the dialogue a little bit up and then the background noise is a little bit lower so you can actually hear what the people are saying in the movies and tv shows now let's take a look at tv os 17.2 so this is currently in beta so i only have the beta profile installed on my device so i have the tv os 17.2 running on my tv and the biggest change that's coming in tv os 17.2 is the revamped apple tv app in tvOS 17.2, when you go into the Apple TV app, you're going to get a brand new sidebar, which in my opinion makes the user interface look a lot better and a lot easier to use. In the sidebar, you're going to get the Watch Now, Apple TV, MLS, Sports, Store, and Library. I wish you could really customize these because I don't really go into a lot of those except for the Apple TV Plus. But other than that, when you get down to there's going to be a new section called Channels and Apps. And this is where your streaming platforms that are connected to Apple TV will live. And you can actually go through each one and see what's the top charts you can see the highlights which you can see what's up next you can see some original series from the services and personally i actually like this feature because amazon prime the application for the apple tv is not the best it is really hard to use and it's very confusing and if i have this little channel app for the amazon prime it just makes it a little bit easier to find out what's trending on amazon prime um, what i can watch next and some amazon original series and shows other than amazon prime i also have the disney plus account connected a crunchyroll account and also a crave account here in Canada. I really do wish that Netflix did have support for this feature because it would make this the best all-in-one application but for some reason Netflix is still holding out on us and they don't have support for the Apple TV app but for the services that are connected to this you can just have a nice all-in-one application and it just makes the Apple TV app a lot more functional than it was before. So far in tvOS 17.2 this is the most notable change I can find and I actually found it to be quite useful so let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about this change and if you guys want to see the full video on tvOS 17.2 when it does come out to the public make sure to hit that subscribe button so you can stay tuned for that and that's about it for this video I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.